Prime Minister Dinesh Gunawardena recently paid an official visit to China and attended the Bao Forum for Asia annual conference. During the meetings, he held high-level discussions with top Chinese leaders, including President Xi Jinping, Premier Li Qiang, and Chairman of the Standing Committee of the National People's Congress, Shao Leiji. Following the conclusion of the Sri Lankan Premier's visit, a joint statement was issued highlighting that both the countries agreed to jointly tackle challenges, share opportunities and seek common development, thereby cementing and expanding the China-Sri Lanka strategic cooperative partnership based on sincere mutual assistance and everlasting friendship to bring greater benefits to the two countries and its people. The statement read that the two sides reaffirmed their mutual support on issues concerning each other's core interests and major concerns. While highlighting that Sri Lanka reaffirms its firm commitment to the One China principle, the island nation reiterated that it will never allow its territory to be used for any anti-China secessionist activities. China, meanwhile, reiterated that it will continue to firmly support Sri Lanka in upholding national independence, sovereignty and territorial integrity and show respect for and support Sri Lanka in independently choosing a development path suited for its national conditions. Further, China expressed its readiness to continue supporting its financial institution in actively consulting with Sri Lanka, maintain friendly communication with other creditors and to play a positive role in the International Monetary Fund to help Sri Lanka ease its financial difficulties and achieve its sustainability. The Sri Lanka-China joint statement read that both the sides agreed to work together to deepen high-quality Belt and Road cooperation, accelerate the formulation of a Belt and Road cooperation plan, and to make all-out efforts to advance the Colombo Port City project and the integrated development project of Hambantota Port as signature projects of Belt and Road cooperation between the two countries. Sri Lanka, meanwhile, says it welcomes the investments of more Chinese enterprises and stands ready to provide a favorable investment and businessman environment for them and roll out at a faster pace preferential policies to facilitate the implementation of the Colombo Port City and Hambantota Port integrated development projects. The statement added that China will continue to encourage competent Chinese enterprises to invest in Sri Lanka and assist Sri Lanka in achieving economic transformation and sustainable development. The two sides expressed readiness to strengthen coordination and deepen exchanges and cooperation in fields including disaster prevention and mitigation, maritime rescue, relief and research, maritime domain awareness, marine biological diversity, maritime personal training and capacity building. Further, both parties are expected to explore cooperation on the blue economy for the building of a maritime community with a shared future and added that periodical bilateral consultations on maritime affairs will be held by both sides.